Hello all, I am Professor Nikhil Sonodikar from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering from KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. I would like to welcome you all for this series of session based upon the project management. In the first video, we have learned about the basics of project management. We have discussed about the various definitions of project and project management and what is the necessity of project management. So, these are the broader objectives we already discussed in the previous lecture. So, in today's session, we are going to discuss about the project management knowledge areas and the process. So, we have to understand fundamental of project management knowledge areas. So, this is the outline we are going to discuss about the project knowledge areas. So, how we can define the project knowledge areas? What does it mean? So, it can be defined as the key aspect of project management that should be overseen by project managers. So, they can plan, schedule, track and deliver projects successfully with the help of project team and the project stakeholders. So, basically when we talk about the project management knowledge areas, so as a project manager, we should understand what are the various factors are there that going to affect the overall progress of the project. And according to that, once we define all these knowledge areas, we can plan, we can schedule, we can track and delivery projects successfully by using the various resources. So, mainly the project team and project stakeholders. So, each of those project management knowledge areas need to be managed throughout the project life cycle phases, okay, which are project initiation, project planning, project execution, monitoring and controlling and project closing. So, these are the chronological phases that every project goes through and also referred to as project management process groups in the PMI's project management book of knowledge. So, when we talk about the project management knowledge areas, so generally there are the various phases of the project. So, starting with the project initiation, project planning, its actual execution. During the execution, we have to monitor the project, we have to control the various activities and after completion of construction, we have to close the project. So, all these phases are there in which number of stakeholders are having their own role to play, number of areas are there which are affecting the overall progress and all these things we have to manage as a project manager. So, these domains are there that we term as the project management knowledge areas. So, these are the 10 project knowledge areas according to the project management book of knowledge. So, in that first one, that is the project integration management, project scope management, project time management, cost management, quality management, that project human resource management, project communication management, project risk management, project procurement management and project stakeholder management. So, all these are the 10 project management knowledge areas are there that we have to understand as a project manager. So, now one by one we are going to discuss all these 10 areas. So, first one it is the project integration management. So, what does it mean? How we can define? So, in the simple language we can define as the framework that allows project manager to coordinate task, resources, stakeholder changes and project variables. So, that is the integration. So, the word integration we all of are aware about that. So, various resources are there. If you take the example of the any construction site, there are the number of tasks are there, number of activities are there, which are depending upon the number of resources. 
so how we are going to manage that how we are going to integrate that whatever the stakeholders are there stakeholders might be the client that may be the end user that may be the engineers who are working so how we are going to manage that if any changes happen on the site how we are going to integrate within the project and we are not delaying the project and various project variables are there so number of variables are there that can have there so we have to integrate all these things under the single terminology that is the project management so project manager can use different tools to make sure there are solid project integration management practice in a place so basically if you talk about the construction sites there are a lot of complexities are there number of stakeholders are there number of variables are there and that can affect the overall progress of the work it can also affect the quality of work so proper integration we need to have between all these variables so integration area it also includes the directing and managing managing of the project work which is the production of its deliverable the project integration area is also includes the directing and managing of the project work which is the production of its deliverables this process is monitor analyze and reported on to identify and control any changes or problems that might occur so that is the project integration so basically when we are working on the construction site particularly when we talk about the number of things can happen the accidents can happen or maybe the material get delay or any other things can happen so all these changes are happening in the scheduling and planning that we have to control and for that we have to take the proper precaution before execution of the work so that is the project integration management so we have to take care of all these deliverables then next one it is the project scope management so it is one of the most important project management knowledge area it consists of managing your project scope which refers to the work that needs to be executed in a project so this is very important thing the work that needs to be executed so when we are going to define any project we should assure that what are our end products are there what are our goals how we want to achieve it so that is the scope so that we have to manage and if you know the goal if you know the scope it will become easy for you to manage the thing so to manage your project scope you will need to build a project scope management plan a document where you will define what will be done in your project so this is the document that is going to have the things that you are going to execute under the certain project so to start building your scope management plan you have to begin by writing the scope statement what you want to have it so this statement is anything from the sentence to a bullet list that comprehensive to reduce major project risks so basically we have to reduce the risks and for that we should have the pre plan and another part of this area that is the work breakdown structure that is in short we call it as the w base which is the graphic breakdown of project work so when we are going to break down any structure what we are going to do the larger scopes are there that we are going to divide into the smaller portions and in accordance with that it will become easy for you to execute the project so generally if you take the example of concreting 
so concreting it is we term as the single task that we have to perform but we can divide it into the number of activities so for the concreting we can start with the material procurement so at what date we want to procure it then the scaffolding construction framework we need to construct we need to have the bar bending schedule bars we have to fix and afterwards we have to mix the concrete ingredients we have to place it we have to cure it so all these activities are involved and that we can divide it into the smaller portion or the smaller part so that is the work breakdown structure then next one project time management so it is very important thing when we say the project manager is a successful one in that one of the important parameter is that the manager who completes the project within a given time or within a given deadlines he or she seems to have the good management skill so it is one of the criteria so project time management is very important so project time management involves the estimating your project duration estimating project duration so that you can derive in terms of hours in terms of days in terms of month or in terms of year depending upon the scope of the project so that estimation we are going to have it first of all then we are going to create the project schedule so scheduling is very important at what time what things we need to do so it will become easy for the engineer or manager to track the project so the next activity will be the tracking the project progress so we have to ensure that project has to be get completed within time so certain milestones we are going to have or certain we can say the stages we are going to define and according to that we are going to plan or schedule the entire project so to do so the first thing we have to do is that define project scope to identify the task that should go into your project schedule so project scope is very important thing once you define it clearly it will become very easy for to make the project time management to schedule it and to estimate it so that is the project time management then next one it is the project cost management so the project management knowledge area involves the estimating the project costs to create the project budget so along with the time cost is also important parameter whatever the budget is allocated for the certain project in that we have to complete our project without having any kind of overhead cost okay so to do so you will need to use the cost estimating tool and techniques to make sure that funds covers the project expenses and are being monitored regularly to keep stakeholders or sponsors informed so generally when we talk about the stakeholders or sponsors who are paying for your project so generally those are the clients or those may be the banks if you are taking the loan so in general practice unless and until you complete the certain stage bank is not going to sanction the further amount and that's why we have to keep the project on the track with respect to time and cost so this is also very important knowledge area that is the project cost management then project quality management so one famous saying is there is that quality first or we can say the safety first and economy second so delivering the project within the time budget is one part but delivering with the quality that is as per the standard or rule it is very important particularly in the construction field because lot of lives are depending upon that lot of people are going to use that building so there should be the good quality construction project we have to execute so project can come in on time 
and within the budget but if the quality isn't up to the standard then project is a failure <clears throat> so this means that quality management is one of the most critical project management knowledge areas so particularly world we are using here not as a important it is as the critical whatever the things that we are going to have or we are going to construct so in that quality should not be get overlook there can delay happen the budget can overrun but quality should not be over look if it is done it will not be good for the future of the project so for that we need to have the quality management plan sanction that specific quality control quality assurance guidelines that we have to produce so generally these are the checkpoints usually given to engineer to check the quality of the task or activity which is going to perform under him or her so that is the quality management then project human resource management so project team is the most important resource so it's crucial to assemble the best team and make sure they are happy so ultimately whatever the construction work is going to be there it is depending upon the human factor the persons who are going to do actual work who are going to monitor that work who are responsible for that work so they should take their responsibility very carefully and that comes under the human resource management so it should be good you have to keep your employees or you have to keep all the human resources with the good faith they should be happy whatever the environment that you are going to create so it is very important but also we have to track their performance to ensure that the project is proceeding progressing as per the plan so that is also very important thing Prof performance of the humans should be analyzed very critically so human resource management plan identifies the roles and requirements for those positions as well as how they fit into the overall project structure so all these things we are going to do under the human resource management then next one project communication management so communication management is one of the important task it might be the paramount as it informs every aspect of the project so whatever the aspect of project we have to communicate to all stakeholders so communication inform the team and stakeholders so whatever the things are happening that we are going to communicate with the various teams which are involved in the project and also we are going to communicate all these things with the stakeholders so before so therefore need to plan the communication management is very critical step in any project who is responsible who is answerable at what intervals the things should be known to the stakeholders so all these things are very important the next one project risk management so project risks are very important so generally we can define the risk as anything that happen without plan so that is the risk or we can say the accidents that can happen so we have to plan for such a condition so risk management plans identify how the risk will itemize categorize and prioritize so we have to give the priorities to the various risks so that may be associated with the cost that may be associated with the working condition or that may be associated with the time so all these things we have to identify we have to give certain quantum and we have to manage those risks this involves identifying the risk that might occur during the execution of project by making the risk management plan okay so that is the another then next one there is the project procurement management so procurement means what so generally for the most of the projects 
we are depending upon the external agencies like the subcontractors so whatever the procurements are there that we have to perform we have to manage it properly so this is going to impact directly on the budget and schedule so the procurement we are talking about the subcontractors or maybe it is we are talking about the materials and machinery so at the required time required human resource required machinery required material should be available if it is not available ultimately it will affect the schedule it will delay the project and as project is going to delay it will also going to affect the budget of the project so procurement management planning starts by identifying the outside needs of the project and how those contractors will be in what okay so that we have to understand in the project procurement management and the last one it is the project stakeholder management so ultimately stakeholders these are the persons people or the group of person who are involved directly indirectly in the particular project so at the end the stakeholder must be happy the project has been created for their needs so therefore they must be actively managed like any other part of the project so whatever the things are happening on the site or during the project after the completion of project we have to take care of the stakeholders so stakeholder management is also very important so to start we need to identify the stakeholders through the stakeholder analysis and find out their concerns it's not always easy but it's a crucial part of starting any project how you are going to manage the stakeholders so generally in the construction site the engineer laborers or the persons who can be term as the clients all these are the stakeholders so we have to communicate them properly we have to keep them happy so that is the project stakeholder management so in this lesson we have talk about the project management knowledge areas so all these 10 knowledge areas are very important to say our project planning is very good when we are going to involve all these knowledge areas and it will become easy for project manager to complete the project within the time within the allocated pre, allocated budget and whatever the quality is there that we have to achieve so these are the project management knowledge areas